So join me <clears throat> as I dive heat stroke, fixing this stupid truck and putting a CNC kit on it. Shade, other truck, fan, engine valley. I already started taking stuff off. There you can see the industrial turbo and I uh, have a lot of work to do. All right, once you get your fuel bowl out, don't forget you'll have a harness on the fuel bowl that connects to this. It's uh, this right here. But on the fuel bowl, it's got a bunch of extra wires. So I chopped them back and they will plug back into the H-pop where it needs to, into your, uh, into right, there so it turns out you gotta rip everything off the top of this freaking motor to put this uh, four line kit in on a obs i think on a super duty you don't have to but uh here let me, let me show you uh man you can't even see it um okay so there's one of the fuel line fittings and uh you actually got to take that the fitting you see you got to take it out uh, there's one back there, that little line you can see, that's under the turbo. One back in there, and then there's one. Um, yeah, I can't even, I don't even think I can get it there. You see that way down in there? Yeah, that's another one. So you gotta get all four of those out. And you may be able to get this one, maybe, without removing that you have to remove the uh, front accessories so AC all that stuff so I'm gonna take the AC off and then take the bracket that holds the uh, vacuum pump and power steering and then same over here take the alternator off and take this bracket off oh and I still gotta take the fuel pump out so, update, I think I can get that off uh, without removing this side accessory, so that's nice. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if there's enough room there. But, uh, I'm taking this thing off. And I am not disconnecting it, because the AC actually works in this truck. Yeah. Not, not gonna get so lucky with this side. I've done this once before and it was a pain to get to all those bolts focus whatever anyways that might be it for tonight I don't know we'll see okay I made a great discovery so got all the bolts loose I, I removed that I got all the bolts out, but one, I loosened the bottom one, and look at that. I can get to it now. And I was looking. I think I can get to that one, too. So, if I remove my downpipe, I might, might be able to get that off without taking the turbo off, which would be splendid. I'll have to do that next, because... I have a, a modified wrench to get the, the uh, uh, fuel pump out, but uh, if I can't get that line off, I gotta pull the turbo and it'll just be easier to do the fuel pump when the turbo's out. Okay, day two. Uh, not a full day, just after work. Uh, anyways, so we are, we're gonna get these fuel lines loose to see if I can get all of them loose and if I can get them loose I can go ahead and take the pump out if I can't get that back one there loose uh, I'm gonna have to pull the turbo but I think if I pull my hood stack should be able to get to it okay <clears throat> I got the lines off so here I have my custom 7.3 fuel pump wrench Anybody's ever done one, 
knows what this is all about. There's a banjo bolt on the back of the pump, almost directly underneath the turbo. With this bend, you can get it off. Without, you do have to remove the turbo to get it off. And that's what I was saying earlier, if I had to take the turbo off to get the lines off, the heads, I'd just do that, but I don't have to. So here we go. <sighs> Victory. And here, are the new goods from CNC inlets push lock push on whatever you want to call it hose fitting and this uh, hardware pack uh, freeze plug that goes in where that is that that covers that hole <clears throat> So, hardware pack. And this is the beauty of the whole thing. Oh, one-handed. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's where my edge uh, fuel pressure uh, sitting unit will go. And that's where that fitting that I just had goes. And then the rest is uh, directions, a koozie, a pin, and the lines. I'll get those out here in a second. Okay, here are the lines, and I don't really have room to lay them all out, but passenger front, passenger rear, driver front, driver rear, all nice and straight and not all scratched up and scarred up so I do still need to take the old fittings out of the head heads so I'm gonna do that now I lied I'm gonna install the freeze plug first oh focus there it is I just grabbed a socket that it fits snug into I'm gonna hammer it down and then I'm gonna clean uh, all the crap out of the valley and then remove those uh, fittings. And there we have it. See all that nastiness? I'm gonna clean all that. And a leaf. So I spoke too soon. I gotta take the turbo off. And I gotta take that up pipe off, it looks like. Okay, it's uh, day 56 on working on this kit. No, not really. Uh, feels like it. It's uh, very hot and sweaty out here. But um, the truck is now back on ramps um, because I have to get, at minimum, the driver's side up pipe out of the way for that uh, fuel line. Fitting. Uh, I'm gonna pull both up pipes off and uh, heat wrap them because I can and because it helps um, and because I want to. You might be thinking at this point, wow it really seems like uh, it's a really difficult kit to put on. Uh, it's not. The kit itself is, uh, the four line feed kit is nice because you don't have a bunch of crap up on the top of the engine. You just have a fuel block and four lines at the end. Um, I'm hoping tonight, uh, it's not going to be a long night like it was last night. I'm going to try to get this up pipes, the up pipes off and get it to where I can start putting the actual fuel line kit on, but I'm going to continue to clean, um, that nasty mess of an engine. You see this? An exhaust bolt. I'm not originally from Texas, so this is the first time I've ever had an exhaust bolt come out. I always have to break them off, or cut them, or heat them up. First time. 
That's wild. All right, first piece in. And my uh, insulation. I think I told you that already. But today, I hope, to go fairly quickly, put my fuel line fittings in, and then everything else can go back on and we're basically done. Yeah, I say that, but you know how it goes. Okay, fuel lines are all installed. Now to get the feed line up to it. All right. Time to hook the pump up and check for leaks. Well, up pipes in. That was a fun job doing the one piece up pipe. Oh yeah, looks good. And uh, pass the leak test. Now it's time for lunch. It's back together, kind of. Uh, the turbo was a pain, but I had a Brad show up and help. So, turbo's back in. I've got to put my hood stack back in and put the front of the motor back together. And we'll be ready to start it. We did it. Good fuel pressure. All the time. I do have an up pipe leak, it sounds like, so that's that's a job for another day. But there's no there's no fuel leaks and there's no oil leaks. So surprising considering I'm the one to put this thing together. But the kit itself, uh Corey was asking me what I thought about it, Corey at CNC. And uh, I think no matter how you slice it, putting an e-fuel system on uh, OBS 7.3 is going to be a pain in the butt. Because um, you gotta pull that turbo, right? There's really no really no way around it. You gotta pull a turbo, pull a fuel bowl out, um, all that good stuff. Now, the caveat to that is like, I think the Marty's kit you may not have to pull the turbo um, if you have the wrench to get the fuel pump out and all that, because it will it will reuse those rear lines. Um, but if you don't have that wrench, then you're gonna have to pull the turbo anyway. So there's really not much more late or not really any different labor. Um, I think this kit looks really nice in the valley. Um, there's no pressure regulator sticking out. Uh, I could put an engine cover back on it if I wanted to. Um, it's just a really clean install. And then the FAS, or an air dog, I'm running a FAS. Um, they're, they're proven. They're, they've made millions of them. So um, I've been driving the truck for a few minutes. Runs great. Like I said, I got a back uh, up pipe leak. I have to see if it's at the turbo or if it's at the hopefully it's at the manifold so I don't want to deal with the turbo again um, but with the wrap uh, the engines and the wrap and then the firewall stuff uh, it's a little quieter in here it's really quiet considering it's hood stacked um, a lot of people think it's gonna be way louder than it is it's not bad um, so you've joined me and the company on our first TikTok full how-to. Um, it's probably awful, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it runs good. So, see what happens next.